sorry not sorry, you are indirectly supporting animal abuse. And thus, after three weeks of being away, I am back with you guys' favorite series, Critter Cruelty. I thought that it would be fitting as my first video after these three weeks to go with something that you guys have been asking for a lot, and that is another video where I talk about animal abuse, especially stuff that I have found on the internet. And I have to say that sadly today's episode is once again about TikTok, because that cursed app really just seems like the best place for horrible content to flourish. I have found sadly so much stuff that I find quite questionable, so let's go into the video. In my first video of this series, I talked about TikTok animal abuse, but specifically hamsters. I just searched up hashtag hamsters and took out any video that I saw that I found inappropriate or bordering on animal abuse. But today's video is just going to be about a multitude of animals because the stuff that I'm going to show you today isn't something that I have specifically searched for. It's stuff that has naturally landed on my For You page. So that tells me that it has probably landed on many other people's For You pages. So I feel the need to share this stuff to maybe educate some people. Excuse me, Oscar, my love. We have to have a very important conversation right now. Okay, so the cat that you see in this video is a Scottish Fold and it's called that because its ears, as you can see, are folded. That is because their cartilage is very weak, which makes the ears not stand up. But since the cartilage is so weak, it not only affects the ears, it affects the whole cat's body. If you search up on Google, Scottish Fold Sitting, you just click on images and you can see that it's very common for this breed to sit down kind of human-like and that's because they are trying to find relief in their joints because they hurt so much they end up just kind of awkwardly sitting on their butts or almost on their back to relieve that pain and when they get older as you can imagine that pain only gets worse but that's not the whole point of this video sadly Oscar, tomorrow you're getting a baby brother. Guys, it's the morning time and we're gonna go and welcome home Otis. Okay, so she's getting a new cat named Otis. Let's see, it might just be completely harmless. <laughs> no, yikes. We're going home. <laughs> okay, so I have already watched this video, but I'm just going to tell you guys what I thought when I saw this at first. I was like, oh, what a cute kitty. So small. I didn't see anything wrong with it. And you guys probably don't either. Wait a second. <laughs> Your legs are so tiny. You see what I mean? She has a Scottish fold and now she also got a munchkin. Oh, please. It's just so unethical to breed these animals. You just bought two genetic disasters just because they look cute. <sighs> like how the hell do you climb a cat tree when your legs are like this? like a little t-rex or something it's just it doesn't make sense i actually talked about this on my instagram if you guys want to follow me there go ahead and do that because i will soon make a poll where you guys get to decide his name or her name right here because if you guys don't know this is our little mascot for this series that just gets to give me some company so yeah, I shared this picture that I'm going to put up on screen and I said Poor thing is only a kitten and can't walk properly because of its legs. It's truly a tragedy what we're doing to these animals. And yeah, I find just when you see those videos, the cat isn't even like walking on its paw pads. It's almost like walking with its whole arm, almost like sliding or something. Because as you can imagine, these things can't walk with those feet. I, yeah, I 
just don't get it. Okay. <laughs> this whole account annoys me. A few months ago, I got a video of them recommended with the rat kind of like brushing them and patting them around like a bit annoyingly, like going like this. Um, if I find that video, I'm going to put it here. Ever since she posted that video, she saw that Oh my god, these types of videos of a fat rat get a lot of traction and a lot of likes because people, like I talked about in my other video about animal abuse, people somehow find fat animals cute. She has posted a lot of stuff where she is, in a similar fashion, annoying her poor rat. For example... Five hundred twenty-nine thousand likes, one point eight million views. I saw one video of them where they said, "Hey, you guys, you should stop coming at me for my rat being so fat because his back end is actually paralyzed, so he can't move. That's why he's getting so fat." I don't necessarily believe that's true. But even if it's true, why do you feel the need to annoy your rat even more? Like, <laughs> you are taking advantage of the fact that your rat can't run away to annoy it to get likes on TikTok, which I find just frankly quite unethical. And I don't know why so many people do not care or disrespect, especially rodents. Anyway, that's that. I just had to rant about this account because I got their videos so many times on my For You page because I guess TikTok is like, oh, she likes rats, let me just show that. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, please don't show that again. <laughs> Next video. types of things just really grind my gears because that jump is so extremely dangerous. It just, I don't understand the need for this gaping hole in the middle. At least the comments here, people are aware that this stuff really isn't right. Cross country is an amazing and difficult sport, but I just can't get past the fact that the jumps don't calm down. It's scary to watch when it goes wrong. If you guys don't know, in show jumping, when the horse jumps and it doesn't make it, of course there can be a lot of accidents, but at least the poles can be pushed over. In this case, as you can see, the jump is completely solid. So if the horse doesn't make it, it just runs into that thing. And if there is a gaping hole full of water under there, I think you can use your own logic to know that this is in no way safe for the rider or the horse. Here comes the bull. about munchkins and Scottish Falls being genetic disasters and this person has both in one count. Oh my god, I don't know if I should cry or laugh. Like I said, you can be a great owner, you can love your cat if you get cats like this on purpose, like you buy this sort of cat from a breeder, not if you adopt one from a shelter. If you buy from a breeder and in that way supporting the breeding of more, that's where I say Sorry, not sorry. You are indirectly supporting animal abuse. <sighs> it just, it hurt my soul just watching that. I know it's a meme to laugh at and stuff, but poor hamster. Like, I know this, is, this video is probably not from the person posting this, but I just want to say, the person that did film this, screw you. Hamsters are so fragile. Like this poor thing could have actually died from a heart attack. Hamsters rarely scream. They only do it if they think they are about to die. And thankfully the cat is completely unbothered and isn't trying to attack the hamster because that would be just a hundred times worse. But still like, why would you put your poor animal 
in a situation where it fears for its life. <laughs> okay, so if you guys aren't equestrians, you probably haven't heard about this scandal about the pentathlon Olympic game where the people that partake in that game have to go through five disciplines. I don't remember what all of them are. I think one is swimming, one is like shooting, I think. Anyway, for some fucked up reason, sorry for cursing, horse riding or worse, show jumping is part of those five disciplines that they have to master. And there was a recent scandal with a German rider and I have to say, as a German myself, I am absolutely disgusted because especially us Germans, we take a lot of pride in being fair to our animals and especially horses. The rider is Annika Schloy and she got frustrated at her horse. Well, not really her horse, it's just the horse that she got assigned to. She got frustrated that her horse wasn't jumping, so she resorted to whipping the absolute hell out of that horse as if it's going to motivate that poor thing. And the worst thing is that her trainer, Kim Reisner, also ended up punching the horse. And the horse she was riding, I believe, is called Sand Boy. And as of right now, they don't really know if that horse is actually alive. Like, maybe they put him down. And I'm just like... So the official Pentathlon Facebook page has posted a picture a few days ago uh, saying that he's in good health, although fatigued from competition. And it raises some serious issues. This is not the same horse. You can tell that uh, Saint Boy in the Olympics has way darker muzzle than the horse on the right. Not to mention that when you look in the background, uh, why is it spring or fall? There are no leaves in the trees at all and it looks to be, well, not summer. And it is supposed to be summer right now. So uh, this seems to be an old picture. We can also see in here that there are no whiskers. This is a very clean muzzle. But here we can see that he has fully grown whiskers all around his muzzle. And coming back to this picture, the horse here is not one that is in shape at all. There's no top line. The muscle does not seem very good. Uh, it doesn't have a very nice neck or anything. And so it makes us wonder, uh, how does a horse that was in the Olympics just one and a half week ago end up in such a horrible condition so quickly? This is obviously either an old picture or it is not the same horse. And I really do not understand why they put horse riding into one of the five disciplines of pentathlon because we are talking about living breathing beings with feelings that you are using as another discipline when as you can see in this next video that i'm going to show you these riders aren't actually qualified riders and the fact that they are able to perform in the olympics is actually shameful and it just hurts my soul to see those poor animals suffering so much because even though it's kind of funny to see how incredibly unable these riders are to jump over these hurdles, it's still a part of me just dies inside, especially when I think about how the horse is feeling because these riders are just falling onto them. Let me show you an example. How cute. Some of them have their manes plaited. Like this one's privately owned, so oh, oh my f Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh geez. Like at least this guy didn't end up hitting the horse, but still, like the way he just fell on top of it. Oh my god. And if you just search like modern pentathlon compilation you will see that it's not just this person and it's not just Annika Schloy that writes like absolute horse shit. <laughs> it's almost every one of the contestants, which is actually shocking. Like you could go up to my barn to a five-year-old kid and say, hey, jump over that. And they could jump better than these people. And they are training for four years before attending the Olympics. At least the basics, you know, how to properly sit a jump or something. No? Okay. Oh, 
I really despise people that abuse animals for views. It's so upsetting. My God. I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> I'm so tired, really. <sighs> Another one of these things. Oh, let me hold it. Let me hold it. What annoys me the most is this rat is more terrified than you guys are. Like, why? Anyway. No! could get stepped on you know they're <sighs> the thing is i don't really have like a moral to the story or some kind of conclusion i just find it sad how many people see animals not like as living beings but more like room decoration or something they just think they can get rid of those animals when it gets inconvenient for them to own them and it's just a sad reality but that I don't really understand and I don't want to understand it. Other than that, I just want to say that for my next episode about critter cruelty, I would like to react to some stuff that you guys sent me. For now, I have three submissions. I just want to quickly say something that I, I don't know why I didn't think about that. But please don't send your submission through YouTube because every time you send a link about some type of video that you want me to react to, YouTube flags that as spam and I may not even see that comment. So please just send me a submission through Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, email, you know, everything is down below in my description. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though it's kind of hard to enjoy watching animal reviews, but I hope my presence made it a little bit more bearable. <laughs> Anyway, if you guys like this video, I hope you consider liking and subscribing to my channel. And yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!